welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Welcome to our first PU Computer Science online classes. Now in today's class we are going to complete some that is from introduction to C++ that is our unary operators concept. As we know that in last class we studied some of the punctuators as well as C++ operators and we know that such operators can be classified as the unary, binary and ternary operator and as well as we know the meaning of the operands. The meaning of the operands that means the variable which act correct note here that means here we can say that the data item on which the variables or the data item on which the operators act is called as the operands okay the data item the data item only call as the variable or the operands in this case here so the data item on which the operators act are called as the operands now let's the first one is our and in today's class i want to select the first operator type that is called as the unary operators now what about the unary operators so the operators which act only on one operand correct note here the operators the operators which act only on one operand one example is called as the maybe the ampersand k maybe the our pointer k so here this is the example that means i already provided the example for the word for the sentence whatever the sentence i framed for our the meaning of the op unary operators that is called as the uh, we can say as the the operators which act only on one operand example ampersand k or the star k are called as the unary operator now let's some of the list of the unary operators okay now here i divided into two column in first column i completed as the operators and second column as called as the name okay so what's the use or what's the name of such operator so each and everything we are going to discuss in today's class so the first one is the as we know that this is called as the logical knot correct no and when you are going to use like this is called as the logical that means here yeah, not equal to should remember it when you are going to use this type okay the logical knot if you are using just only the one symbol this is called as the logical knot but if you are using with along with the equal sign is called call as the logical not or that means not equal to clear this point here okay now let's the meaning of the logical not and where we are going to use as we know that if the condition is true but the logical not operator will make the condition to the false here one example maybe the condition is true that means it shows a value is equal to b there is no any doubt the condition is true what's the value is that in a such value that is equal to the variable b here but instead of this one if you are using logical not operator that is called as we can say that if the condition is true such logical not operator will make the condition to the false here so clear this point here so artha uh, itala ellarige ee just operator ge not equal to anta helteve idu ottige badre now not equal to anta helteve but just only if you are using the one operator that is called as the logical not here and why we are using that means just to make the condition to the false clear this one okay now after completing the second operator name is called as the ampersand but just only in our um, uh, conversation we can say as the ampersand but actually the name of the symbol is called as the address of operator clear this point here address of operator so what we using the ampersand or the address of operator that means such address of operator is used to give the address of the operand a operand a variable in a address gain or just only tilkod like now one symbol and use martive the symbol is the ampersand such ampersand is called as the uh, 
address of operator and such address of operator going to use as the am percent a am percent b kya okay so that means uh, such uh, it shows the address of the variable a kya and later next one uh, next operator is called as the ones complement how we are going to write down to up correct no in this manner i want to use here or i used in this manner kya down to up so such operator is called as the ones complement operator ones complement operator and what's the use of the ones complement operator that means it going to convert or change 1 to 0 or 0 to 1 so one example may be the example is the 100 that means here it going to change wherever the value 1 is there it changing to the 0 maybe the value is 0 is that change to the 1 or maybe the 0 is that change to the 1 so this is the answer of the ones complement and such answer we will get or by using the symbol the symbol call as the ones complement operator or converting 1 to 0 and 0 to the 1 and later next one it look like star operator correct no kya star operator kya so such operator is call as the pointer d reference operator okay the pointer d reference operator so we can say that used along with the operand yavudakke now use martteve yavude one operand annu use maduvaga now a operator annu use martteve correct no so one example we can write as the ampersand that is call as the pointer d reference ge correct no or the star ge in simple way we can say as the star ge but actually the um, actually the symbol name is called as the pointer d reference and used with the uh, operand okay kya operand kya to represent the pointer data type clear this point here pointer data type now let's what's the meaning of the ampersand k and pointer d reference operator so it shows the address of the variable k artha aita ee symbol ni use madidre iga namge aa variable ina address दिल को लिखे यूज मारते हुए इट शोस दी एड्रेस ऑफ दी वेरिएबल गे क्या बट इफ यू आर यूजिंग दी स्टार दैट इज कॉल्ड आस दी पॉइंटर डी रेफरेंस इट शोस दी वैल्यू ऑफ दी वेरिएबल गे एस वी नो दैट दी वेरिएबल गे होल्ड्स बोथ एड्रेस एस वेल आस दी वैल्यू सो एड्रेस नोड लिखे एम परसेंट यूज मारते हुए अधे वेरिएबल इन अ वैल्यू नोड लिखे नाउ स्टार अनो यूज मारते हुए दैट इज कॉल्ड आस दी पॉइंटर डी रेफरेंस ओके नाउ आफ्टर सच पॉइंटर डी reference next operator is called as the unary plus okay the unary plus here so what about the unary plus so such operator is used to represent the positive or we can say that the signed positive operand so for example here the example is the plus 10 clear this point here plus 10 that is called as the unary plus in this case plus just only if you are using plus that is called as the unary plus here and why we using such a unary plus here to represent the positive signed positive operand okay the signed it holds some of the sign maybe the plus or minus but unary plus hold the plus only so signed our positive operand kya so this is about unary plus and later next one is the minus so why we using the minus so we can say that we can write as the minus okay the minus 10 that is called as this operator just only one minus okay uh, operator is called as the unary minus clear this point unary minus and also called as the unary negation okay so the other name of the unary minus is called as the unary negation and why we using such operator to represent our uh, the to represent the signed negative operand clear this one to represent the signed negative operand by using the minus so clear this point here okay after completing now let's uh, other two operator that are also that are also comes in case of the unary operators that are the plus plus now idakinta munche just only one plus anna use maadi deni correct no one plus now i am going to tell double plus here plus plus in this case here so we can 
say that this operator is called as the increment operator. Don't want any confusion. 1 plus idre, then now unary plus anta helteve, adhe double plus idre, a operator anu now increment operator. So, why we using the increment operator? The increment operator is using to increment the value of the variable or to increment an operand by 1. Clear this one? So, maybe uh, operand a value is equal to 10. It is value uh, is value is equal to 10 but if you are using plus plus next time such value going to make uh, increment in the value that is a value is equal to 11 okay so we can say that increment operator using or used to increment an operand by 1 and minus minus so such operator is using as we know that minus minus what is the use of the minus minus decrement operator that means used to decrement an operand by 1 maybe a value is equal to 10 agirthade correct no a value is equal to 10 adre minus minus now use madidre next time a value l over again reach at the a value in a, a variable in a value s at the a value is equal to 9 clear this one increment and the head uh, 1 by 1 h at the hook today plus plus 1 by 1 h at the hook today a day decrement and the head 1 by 1 decrement at the hook today okay the less value uh, uh, at the hook today only so this one is called as the increment and the decrement operator so clear this point here so it is very important concept also so unary operator so all our operators are called as the unary operators here as we know that plus unary plus minus unary negation or unary minus plus 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 increment operator minus minus decrement operator. Okay. Now after completing increment and decrement operator, so it becomes absolutely necessary to understand about the increment and decrement operator. Correct now? Yeah, can then all the concept increment mate decrement hagadre nange kela one to increment mate decrement in a vishad vagge hecho tilkolele veko. So some of the point about our increment operator. So the increment operator, first of all, I want to say the meaning of the increment operator. An increment operator is used to increment value of the variable by 1. Correct now? To increment the value of the variable by 1. So, yeah, the operator and now increment operator held away. The operator is the plus plus. The plus plus operator is called as the increment operator or we can say the operator plus plus will add one to the operand is it or correct not here so the operator plus plus is used or add one to the variable one to the operand one to the data item yeah can one by one value h chart talk to the e operator kade in the increment operator here okay so now one example maybe the example is the a plus plus or plus plus a that is equal to for example maybe some here yeah. so okay a plus plus or if, if you are going to write plus plus a clear this point here yeah? a plus plus or maybe if you are writing plus plus a that is equal to a is equal to a plus 1 only clear this point here so maybe we can say that the first one is called as the post increment operator and second one is called as the pre increment operator clear this one here illi post increment operator plus plus a is called as the pre non pre as spelling p r e helta idene pre increment operator so maybe you are using post or pre maybe a value is equal to a plus 1 only now let's the meaning of the pre increment operator correct now okay now pre increment now hege bariteve pre increment operator bari bekadre now plus plus ye anta bari teve clear this one kya pre increment operator example plus plus k kya now that's the meaning of the pre increment operator now uh, example already naan bardi dene ya operator hege bari teve pre increment plus plus k now example okay in this example or before going to write the example the meaning of the pre increment operator that means the plus plus is used before the variable name plus plus is used before the variable name variable name bariva munche na plus plus bariteve la anta increment ge pre increment operator anta helteve clear this one here okay now the example int 
as we know that whatever the variable is there such one going to declare by using data type yakandre illi nan kela ondu numbers annu use martta iddene so yavaga niu number annu use martira aga namge data type bekaagutade that is the int float anta data type bekaagutade maybe fractional when you are going to use aga float use aagutade adhe ni whole number use maduvaga maybe the 10 20 5 6 anta number use madidre data type int bekaagutade okay so going to declare int ये वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू फाइव कॉमा बी सेमिकोलन आज वी नो दैट स्टेटमेंट गोइंग टू टर्मिनेट बाय यूजिंग दिस सेमिकोलन एंड दी वेरिएबल सेपरेटेड बाय यूजिंग दी कॉमास इली याव द वेरिएबल नंबर सेपरेट मारी देने वन वन इज दी ये सेकंड वन इज दी बी सच वन गोइंग टू सेपरेट बाय कॉमा क्या नाउ बी वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू प्लस प्लस ये सेमिकोलन लेटर वर्ड्स दी बी वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू सिक्स हागदरे नाउ ये एक्सप्लेनेशन हेड बाउ दादरे फर्स्ट increment the value of the variable ge ye value is to 5 so first of all it going to make the increment in the value of the variable ge increment anta helidre 5 plus 1 artha aita ge ye plus plus or maybe plus plus ye both are is equal to ye is equal to ye plus 1 so ye value is 5 5 plus 1 now what's the value of the uh, ye the value is the Six. Correct now in this case here. So such value we need to assign to the variable b here. So clear the clear this point here. First increment the value of the variable y and then assign result to the variable b. So because of this the b value is equal to six. Arthai thalari ge idhu hege increment agi the. Okay. So now after completing the one example for our pre increment operator. Now let's the example for the post increment operator now pre increment alli nan yen helidene plus plus is used before the variable name so what about the post increment operator so we can say that the plus plus is used or when plus plus is used after the variable name variable ina hesaru bariyuva nantra now plus plus use martteve alla adannu now post increment operator helteve so example a plus plus or maybe the example c plus plus any letter we can use correct now a plus plus is the example for the post increment operator so now let's the example of the post increment operator so example the same example i want to use here int a value is equal to 5 hagadre a ge estu value kottidene 5 later next one one more variable i want to use the name of the variable is the b here and both variable separated by using the comma and finally statement going to terminate by using the semicolon and after that now just i want to show the value of the b here by using post increment operator so b is equal to a plus plus semicolon now the value of b is equal to 5 only so here in this point i want to say see here the value later was it going to increment after the value b value is equal to 6 but first of all how just it going to show the value what's the value is there in 5 such value only it going to show so in this example or in this explanation we can say as the first uh, in this case first assign the value of the variable a the value of the variable a is 5 clear this point here first of all adu yava value assign maartade yava value namma a variable alli ide so first assign the value of the variable a kya correct no that is the 5 clear this point here the y 5 here then increment the value of the variable a so second time namma b value est aagutade second time the b value is equal to 6 First of all, our value here is the other value. Now, B get birthday, but next time it going to make the increment in the value. So second time it going to show the value. B value is equal to six. Kya? So this is the explanation about our increment and the decrement operator. Thank you. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates.